Hi, everyone, and welcome back to our Back to School special. I'm Eleni Karitsis, and I'm a community leader. And today I have one of our fantastic Mode Ambassador leaders, Britt. Britt, do you want to introduce yourself and tell us where you're from and your role? Yes, I'm Brittany Horn. I'm an instructional technologist in Northwest ISD, which is north of Fort Worth, Texas. And we are just starting school. So we are busy and we're excited. We're excited to get kids in the building. Amazing. And it's so great to have you here today. I know I had the privilege to get over to ISTE last month, which was absolutely fantastic. So I got to finally meet so many of our amazing educators who are in the US and from Canada and everywhere else where everyone comes from for ISTE, including myself from Australia. But as you said, in America at the moment, you're just heading back to school or if you're in the Northern Hemisphere joining us, you'll be heading back to school. Here in the Southern Hemisphere, we are in our lovely winter at the moment. So we've just finished our winter break and heading in for the second half of the year. But over the break, whether you've just had winter break or your summer break, Moat has had some amazing new updates that Britt and I are really excited to share with you today. So let's get started, Britt, and we can share with everyone what Moat has been up to over the break. Okay, so let's get started. Here are some of our amazing new updates that have happened. So Moat has now got drag text, which I'm going to demo in just a second, which is amazing, particularly for your students who struggle in the classroom, which I'll talk about in just a second. We have a new auto read aloud within Google Forms, which is a massive time saver. You can now print QR codes directly from the Chrome extension. You can also um, type and then create voice recordings instead of having to use your voice, particularly if you have lost your voice as a teacher, which it does happen. You can upload your own sound and audio now directly into Moat. You can also remove background noise in the classroom, which is really, really helpful, particularly if you're an elementary teacher just like me. And you as well, Britt, it is really helpful. And then we're going to end today's short, quick webinar with some back to school activities that Britt has got to share with us. So I'm going to get started first and then we'll switch over screens and Britt can share. So the first feature that I wanted to share with you all today was Moat Drag Text. So here you'll be able to see when you record now within Moat with the transcription, you can grab that and drag it into your document. Now, this is absolutely amazing, particularly for those students. And, you know, we can all think of a student at your school. They have so many creative ideas, but getting them to actually write or type their learning is really difficult. So this is a great way where students can record themselves, get that text audio and drop it into the document. So this works within um, Google Docs, within slides, within any platform at all. So really handy and really helpful. So that is Moat Drag to Tech. Now, the next one I'm going to share with you all is auto read aloud within Google Forms. So Moat worked within Google Forms, but as a teacher, if you have got a Google Form that has multiple sections and is super long, it can be really difficult sometimes to record every single answer and every question. It's very time consuming. So what Moat has been working on over the break is you can now toggle and turn that on. So I'm going to actually demo this with you all now and show you how it works. So here within Conquer, which if you haven't checked and make sure you go do that, it's an amazing product, which is also created by creators of Moat. And I've been able to generate a um, quiz here about butterfly life cycles for year two. What I've then done is I've simply shared this directly to Google Form. So within here, you can see that that quiz is right there. You might already have a quiz already created within Google Forms that you can simply use. Here is my thing. And I can see the moat icon up here and simply click on that and you'll see a new button here which says to speak and simply toggle this on. Now I am Australian, so I'm going to select or you can choose a whole range of languages there that you can translate it to. This is amazing, particularly for language teachers. Um, they can use this as well. But this example, I'm not going to try and um, do this in another language. I'm going to stick to English Australian and I'm going to toggle on and add B. Now what it does when my students, when I share this with them, you will now be able to see that when they go in and preview it, 
they can click and listen to the audio. Name will simply read the question. What is the first stage of a butterfly's life cycle? And the answers, they can simply click listen to play. Now, this is really, really helpful, particularly for your students. You also can create multiple quizzes. So you might not want every question read aloud for all your students. So you can even have two forms. And what I love about this is you can simply share it out and your students won't even know the difference within Google Classroom. So for those students who need it read aloud, you know, English might be their second language. You can have that option and just share it with them. And then all your other learners who don't need it read aloud can simply answer the quiz. So you're able to differentiate within your class, allow for all students to have that equality and then not knowing the difference. And that's what I really love about some of the new features within Moat, that you can share and do things that provide equality for all students in a different way that isn't always so um, visible to them, knowing that they've got something different. Now, the last one is probably that I'm going to be sharing before I pass over to Brit is print QR codes. Now, uh, anyone who knows me and knows what I love about Moat is definitely the QR code feature. The fact that you can simply record your voice and, you know, before you had to download it and you could add it to Canva, you can add it to multiple things. We have these QR codes all over our school and we find it really helpful, particularly when we have displays up and we have a lot of tours at our school. So people on tours can simply scan the QR code and listen to student voice as they're doing those tours. So it's really helpful. But a really big frustration of mine was I always had to click download, then I had to go find it in my downloads and then drag it. And it was a few clicks involved. So what um, the team at Moat have done is we've added a simple print button. So directly from the extension now, you can hit print and it will print that directly from the extension. Now, if you um, have seen online and these are really cool and I got to play with them at ISTE a little bit. Um, and this was a reason we did this was you can now actually print directly to portable printers. And there are some really great ones on Amazon that you can um, buy for about $20. And what it does is you can print the Moat QR code directly to them and it creates a sticker. And what I love about this is you can actually provide feedback. So you can simply record, hit print. It prints out on a sticker and you can stick it directly into your student's book. We know in the classroom not everything is online. But sometimes for some students and also teachers to write feedback in their book takes a lot of time, especially when you're tired and you've been marking all night. You can simply record a bit of feedback, print it directly using these little printers and stick it in their book. So a really quick and easy way and lots and lots of fun to sort of engage your students in that feedback process. So they are my three little new features that I'm excited to share with you all. Now I'm going to throw over to you, Britt, and share the next half of the amazing update. Okay, so if you weren't already excited enough about those three updates, I think these will excite you. And um, what I love about what Alinny was talking about is just how much Moat is supporting our um, ESL learners and just providing accessibility for all students. And so now when you open up the Moat extension or even the Moat reporter within slides, you're gonna see three options. So this is new. You've got your record option. So that's the personal voice. You're recording your voice. There's a lot of power in that personal voice but you also are able to generate. So this is gonna be like text to speech. So you can paste in a bunch of text and it will actually make that audio for you, which is a big time saver. And then lastly, there's the option to upload an audio file. Um, and there's a, probably a lot of really neat ways to use this as a music teacher, or maybe it's um, an author for reading their actual work. And so it's really neat that there are all three options um, and you can decide what's best for you and your assignment. Audio read aloud is really awesome because it allows for text to speech. So here you can see, I have some text on my screen. Um, this can be any text that you wanna add in, but I'm gonna demo it just by copying this text. And for this instance, I'm gonna open up the Moat Reporter in Slides. I'm gonna click on Generate and then just paste in that text. And when you click on Generate, it's going to add that Moat speaker icon with the audio for you. I think this is particularly powerful because a lot of devices might have a built-in text-to-speech functionality or capability, but students have to go and enable it and open it. But here, that speaker is directly in front of their face, so they're more likely to use it because it's right by what they need to listen to. So you can move this anywhere on the screen. And then once again, that generate option is also available in the extension with the translate capabilities as well. 
And Brit, I lo- what I love about that one is that you can also add that audio in different languages. So you do have the option there next to the text to speech. You can see I had obviously English AU, but you've got English US and you can change it for different language learners as well. So really helpful for um, those learners in the classroom too. Yes, I'm so, so glad that you mentioned that. All the translation features with Moat are just so, so powerful. Um, And then another one, this one's a simple one to use, but gosh, it makes such a big difference in the busy classroom. Like Eleni mentioned, we're both in the elementary classroom, but a lot of times kids are recording Moat with a bunch of kids, other kids recording Moat. So removing the background noise is going to allow their voice to be more clear, um, kind of eliminate the distractions in the background so you can really hear what your kids are saying. So that defaults to being turned on. Obviously, you could turn it off if for some reason um, you don't want that on. I know uh, we have a choir teacher that uses it who kind of wants multiple voices, but for the most part, um, you're going to want to just hear that kid that's speaking. So removing background noise is a great new update and new feature. And then for us in the U.S., we're getting ready to go back to school. So just wanted to share a fun template um, that you might be interested in using. And you can actually find this in more classroom ideas on the Moat Learning Zone. So there's a lot of classroom ideas there, but I'm going to share some templates in Canva. We all love Canva because it makes everything um, look amazing. But our teachers put Meet the Teacher flyers outside their rooms. They email them home. They send them to families, which is great. It tells a little bit about the teacher. It sets a good first impression. But how powerful to add a Moat QR code to your Meet the Teacher flyer so that immediately when I know, oh, Mrs. Horn is my teacher and I hear her voice, I hear her excitement. It just puts me at ease as someone sending my kid to school and having a new teacher. Thank you so much, Britt. And that is a really quick and short webinar just from us to showcase some of the amazing new Moat features. And if you have any questions or have any queries about any of these, always reach out to myself or Brid or anyone at the team. We're always willing to help. And if you have any suggestions for product ideas or things that you would like in the classroom, always reach out to us as well. But we hope that you guys are as excited as we are for some of the new updates that are coming to Moat and are excited to use them in the new school year. Um, whether you are in the northern hemisphere or if you are in the southern hemisphere obviously for the second half of the year hopefully they are there to assist you as well so on behalf of the team at Moat, we really thank you for joining us today for our back to school webinar thanks everyone thank you